episode of TC Weekly, the PM edition. On tonight's episode, we have What's Happening Now? I believe they're talking about fish. And on Podception, the two gentlemen, because I wasn't there, I apologize, are going to be talking about free will. Oh, the gentlemen now. Oh, wait, no. What's Happening Now is actually talking about jewelry. I'm sorry about that opening. Ho, ho, ho! Happy holidays from here on What's Happening Now, TCWeekly.com. Tonight we are going to go shopping, but not for turkey. We are going to go to Forever Jewelry with Nicole and Rod. They are going to explain all the type of jewelry that they have. Let's go to Rod and make sure that you men have an idea of what to get your woman. Have a good night. Happy holidays. Hello and welcome to What's Happening Now. Today we will be interviewing Nicole and she is the owner of Forever Diamonds and she's going to tell us about her jewelry selection. So tell us Nicole, how long have you been in the jewelry business? Actually, I've been in the jewelry business for about eight months now. Okay. Um, I started this year, early this year, in the jewelry business and I've just been enjoying myself with the products. Mm -hmm. Uh, with meeting the people okay. uh, and presenting all of the products that you will see behind us. So do you make your own jewelry? No, I buy it wholesale. The name of this company is Forever Diamonds. Um, the jewelry line is by Tracy Lynn Fashions. Tracy Lynn Fashions is owned by an African American lady. Uh, she's originally from Philadelphia. She started the jewelry line in 1989 and branched out. She started in the western part of the United States and it has carried on to the southern part and it is slowly venturing out in the Midwest area. Um, the jewelry selection you will see behind us has contemporary jewelry, vintage jewelry, and designer pieces. There's a selection for everyone. The jewelry line is known to be very affordable. The average prices range from $14 to $38. Most of the jewelry is made from saltwater pearls, cubic zirconia, also um, a few elegant pieces of diamonds. Uh, the jewelry is nickel-free, lead-free, and hyperallergenic. So where, where do you sell your products? Do you have like a storefront somewhere? No, I've basically been selling it from many different venues. I've been in De Pure Fest uh, here in Wisconsin. I've been at the Manitowoc Mall. Uh, I am currently have a contract signed to sell jewelry at the East Town Mall for the craft shows. I do uh, craft and vendor shows for different churches, um, Art Street, uh, different individual home shows, and personal shows. I also do private shows. If there are wedding anniversaries or weddings coming up, uh, birthday parties, I do those pri private vineyards also. Are there any other ways that the customers can contact you? Yes, they can contact me by going on Facebook, uh, type in Forever Diamonds, and you will see us on Facebook. You can also locate me at www.tracylandjewelry.net forward slash 17592. You can also contact my cell phone number at 920-562. 7978. I'll be happy to present you with a private show or we can also do a home show. Uh, do you have certain patterns that you follow or you know in case of you know a customer wanted like a customized piece? No we don't but we have different selections. We have over 400 pieces of jewelry in the jewelry line. We can also have an opportunity where the person can choose a um, set that he or she may see on the table and we also have an online website that you can choose from. In addition to that we also have a catalog book. Our catalog comes out every six months. In January we're very excited. We're getting ready to launch our summer spring line and in July we also launch our fall and winter line. So every six months the jewelry is constantly changing up. So would the customers be able to get the catalog on your website? Yes, they can get the catalog on the website. Okay, once again, we would like to thank Nicole for giving us this interview.
This is another nice place to visit in Green Bay, Wisconsin. To get yourself some nice jewelry, good gifts for the lady friend. And we would like to thank you all for watching What's Happening Now. See you next week. Not to be, not to like pin you down, but uh, at this point, knowing it's slippery and mercury and every, you know, uh, mm -hmm. everything's subject to change, uh, free will. What do you think? Do we have it? Yes. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, I think we do. But in certain aspects, there are moments where it's just kind of like blips out of existence for a moment. Like, think of Donnie Darko. That whole movie is basically an exercise on free will. Yeah, Some but extent. what you're saying is if we don't have free will all the time, like, because, like, when our subconscious kicks in, mm -hmm. when our muscle memory kicks in, yeah. I mean, we're not, you know, freely choosing that. Mm -hmm. You know, th that's not... Um, yeah, and I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I'm less positive. Like, you know, I mean, you you feel like, yes, and I'm kind of like, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it just feels so slippery to me. It's it is like, a very slippery concept, but But at the same time, I don't know if you can say, like, ultimately, there is such a thing as ultimate free will. Like, you know, like I said, mm -hmm. you know, I tend to, I guess I wouldn't disagree too hardly with the way you stated it because mm -hmm. it's like um, it's there it's just a matter of realizing that it's there and when it's plausible and when you can use it and that type of stuff so perhaps we we have we have we have it we're just not always we've aware. got a touch of free will free will and motivation in a ridiculous way, I think we've already, just between a little of the cursory conversations we've had, mm -hmm. seems like are interlinked. Yep. Um, because, you know, whether or not, you know, humans have the ability to freely choose, like to what extent and to what degree are we choosing? Mm -hmm. uh, and then the idea of motivation Mm -hmm. what motivates us, the levels of motivation for different things, knowing that there are certain things that we have to do, mm -hmm. which gets back to what are we freely choosing. Yeah. And, you know, we do, humans, and it's pretty much backed up by science, we, we act a lot out of our subconscious. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of instincts that take over at certain triggers. And some of them are sure are great for survival. Mm -hmm. And people don't even realize it half the time. Like, there's a lot of emotions that are actually just impulses. And people treat them as if it's some major cognitive feat. And it's like, no, your body felt this. And so it's telling your brain this, and now you're reacting like this. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, motivation is interesting for me because I feel like a little out of place in this culture in that I'm not very motivated <coughs> by money. Mm -hmm. And so <coughs> it's been difficult for me because I'd rather feel good or feel like I'm spending more of my time the way I want to spend my time. That seems more free mm -hmm. than say, you know, feeling like I have to do something yeah. or else. That feels very coercive to me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's there's like a system in place because every society has a system of some sorts mm -hmm. that kind of limits what amount of free will you do have. But then in the gaps, you kind of have that leeway, but adherence Agreed. to a, a hierarchy. Sure. And sometimes, I don't think all hierarchy is bad. No. Um, no, no, no. And I think sometimes parameters can uh, push creativity. Mm -hmm.
those parameters also can affect your motivation that because if it's a parameter or like say you've got a specific thing you have to do a certain way, but you don't want to do it, you're not going to feel very motivated to do it that way at all, like ever. <laughs> yeah. And so immediately then you've got that free will choice of whether you do it because you have to or do you don't do it because you just don't like it. <laughs> But then at the same time, then there's that weird gap there where it's like, well, one way is a determined way, the other way is a determined way. So what's the center ground there that actually proves you just had free, a free will option in that? Moment? Well, right. And if we feel like we're doing something that ultimately we wouldn't be doing but for the system in place, mm -hmm. is that really freely choosing to do it? Mm -hmm. Or is that like, well, um, not doing it would have a, wor a perceived worse consequence mm -hmm. than going along with it. Yeah, you know, because I, I feel like I feel like our culture, I mean, has been really good at conditioning. Mm -hmm. Like, like I feel like we're maybe the most conditioned country in the world. More conditioned, less disciplined. Because there's a lot of things that go on that if people just had a specific amount of discipline, it wouldn't go down the way it goes down. Thirty second random topic today's episode we're doing balls. Go. <laughs> I'll start the time when you say something. <laughs> you mean it's not running yet? I was really pulling for that to just be counting. <laughs> no, okay. No, I'm gonna wait for you to say So okay. Just to recap, the random topic today is balls. Balls. <laughs> okay. Balls. Um, most guys have two. They're aerodynamic. <sighs> what were the big red gym ball mm -hmm. balls? Balls. You can throw them. You can catch them. They're spherical. <laughs> And done. <laughs> Balls. Oh, oh, that's it for this episode of Pod. I was moving around right and not looking. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, join us again on PC Weekly. I have a question. Hmm. When we do this outro, are we freely choosing to do it, or are we just motivated by time to do it, or both? <laughs> See where you're going there. <laughs> With Donnie Darko, you've got the whole like wormhole time apparatus thing that they have happen. Humanity, survival, free will, motivation. Are any of them real? Luke Zeman, go. I'm dreaming on our deck. <laughs> where did Andrew go? Who's Andrew? You hey. named the plant Andrew? Apparently. Hey, buddy. It's going bro fist. So, uh, I'm not very motivated um, for this. <laughs> right. All right, there's the segments for you. That wraps up this edition of TC Weekly PM. Balls. See you later. <laughs>